What's up my viewer bros, Beer Maniac here with another MLB The Show 17 roster update. This just went live not too terribly long ago, I believe today. I haven't been on in a couple days, but it's usually Fridays, sometimes Thursdays. And as you can see here, we got some big jumps today. We got Brian Goodwin with the jump, even though he lost 10 contact right, 21 left. Power left went up 30, so he's a solid option. As a lefty, if you can get him, I believe he'd be a bronze at 74. Discipline's now up to 65, so that's pretty good. Then you see this guy got buffed all the way around, respectively, in order. 8, 15, 14, 11, 10, and 11. Makes him a lot more useful. Zach Godley. Got a decent boost. 2 to stamina, 8 to hits, 8 to strikeouts, 2 to walks, and 6 to home runs. He's having a pretty good season, honestly, if his ERA is only 2.94, and his strikeout per 9 is exactly 9, even though it says 0. I don't know why. He's up to an 80 overall now, so he's a solid option in your rotation. You got German Marquez. Stamina went up 5, hits 8, strikeouts 4, walks 2, home runs 8. He's been um, improving lately, I should say. He started off bad, but... You can definitely see his improvement in his rating. Granted, if he wants to improve, he should probably get his control up there and do a little better. Honestly, for me, he walks a little too much. His whip's a little too high also. What, Wilmer Defoe, who discipline went up 40, but that seems like a glitch to me. I don't think it was 22 before, but I'm not sure. He's a lot more useful against lefties now, going up to a 72 and a 61 after a 17 and a 26 buff. Honestly, hitting 266 is not bad, but in 188 at-bats, he only has three home runs, so that's kind of, I don't know how to feel about that. And you see some minor buffs here. We get into um, Brad Hand, closer for the Padres. Losing six stamina, but gaining four hit, four strikeout, four walk, three home run, ten clutch. Another stamina boost. You know me, I don't go over the just stamina changes. Those are stupid. This guy right here, this is nice. His contact's a lot better after a 16 and 12 boost. And his power versus righties is up to 71. So the way it looks at me, it's you get less contact but more power against the righties but you get more contact, less power versus lefties. A pretty even trade-off if you're considering his fielding and his speed's not terrible. Definitely a good backup option if you can stick him there. Got Paul DeJong. 4, 6, 5, 11 boost. That's pretty nice. His power is doing pretty good. Especially for a guy who's only hit 15 home runs. Well, that's probably due to the fact that he might not have played as much. I don't pay attention to... I believe, yeah, I don't pay attention to the Cardinals, really. Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. We got Justin Smoke. Decent buffs, 6'4", 8. Bumps him up to an 83 overall. That's pretty good. Contact versus righties, I'd probably would put it a 60 personally, but that's neither here or there. Now, he, Jimmy Nelson... Solid starting option now if you consider that boost to hits, strikeouts, and walks. Gerardo Parra, his contact buff makes him, makes him extremely usable, especially now that he's over 80. And his fielding and arm strength alone with reaction and speed, definitely, definitely a, a really good outfielder option. Then Eduardo Nunez of the Red Sox, his contact's up to an 85 and a 70. So he's probably going to get on base for you, especially with his 84 vision. But what he does when he gets on there, probably ain't going to get home runs. But he'll make up for it with his speed and stealing, 92-89. His power's up a little bit versus righties, but dropped versus lefties. His discipline also dropped a little bit, which kind of sucks. Charlie Blackman gaining even more power. I did not know that this was possible for him. He's up to a 90 overall. And that's 90 overall, considering his arm strength and accuracy and speed and stealing aren't really elite. They're not bad, but they're not elite. So the fact that he's 90 overall with these stats is amazing. 96 contact right, 82 contact left, power right, 86, power left, 71. With 65 
vision and 90 clutch. If you are building a team, you need to put this guy in your lineup if you can. Corey Seager. A little mixed bag of tricks right here. His contact's down to a 95, which isn't bad. Especially when his lefty contact went up 7. Power down 2 and up 13. A little bit more balance. Vision down. And his discipline up. I'll take that. Giancarlo Stanton even got a little buff. His power is up to a 97 and a 99. This guy is going to launch some jacks for you. His contact's not too bad either. A little bit more balance, so he's more potent against righties than he would have been before. Granted, the six change really isn't that much, but it helps. Just a little bit. Then use there's some minor guys here. Arm accuracy, fielding, vision. Joey Gallo right here. His contact sucks. I don't even want to go over him. There is somebody I did want to show you that says he hasn't changed. Justin Verlander said his velocity is up to an 81 overall now. Which, if you play a lot of MLB, you'll notice there's some teams that... It, it, it's, I'm not saying velocity is like, needed, but you can tell that a lot of velocity will help. Especially against less patient hitters. I think that works a lot for online too. You can have a guy that has a fast pitch but an extremely slow pitch at the same time. You can throw a lot of people off. And you can see a lot of these nerfs are nothing major. This guy, Kevin Pillar, would have dropped more. But he did receive a 10 buff to power left. Even though his contact went down 14 and power went down 4 to the right. This guy here, Miguel Cabrera. Very disappointing season, honestly. I mean, 266, it's not, like, terrible, but only 12 home runs, 51 RBIs, that's it. I mean, come on, Miggy, what the hell are you doing? His contact's now down to an 82 right. His power left is down to a 64, vision down to a 58. That kind of hurts a little bit. And again, a lot of drops that you don't really see why, at least on this page. You got K9, Walk9, and Home Runs down on Dallas Keuchel, which I believe actually was long overdue, because I believe if you have a strikeout ratio less than 9, or K per 9 of under 9, especially when it's 87 innings to 76 strikeouts, which... roughly would be about eight strikeouts per nine or somewhere around there it's not that good granted his walks are actually pretty solid so that being a 72 I totally agree with but his hits being 75 I do not know his his whip is kind of not I'm not gonna say booty but it's kind of average he's not gonna be someone I would call an ace and I think 86 overall reflects it because his ERA is still good. So I'm not going to be like, oh, he deserves to be an 81 or an 80. No, he's still a really good pitcher, but like he's starting to show a sign of maybe possible decline. Maybe the injuries are catching up to him. I don't know. Tell me what you think of the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.